Good morning, everyone. And that's why I'm an elementary principal. Right there. Good morning. So my name is Crystal Shea. I am the junior school principal, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the junior school closing ceremonies at Glenline Norfolk School's beautiful beach campus. Would you please stand for our land acknowledgement? We wish to acknowledge and respect those Kwangling speaking peoples on whose traditional territory we stand, and the Songhees, Swamil, and Songe peoples whose historical relationships with this land, where we work, live, play, and learn, continue to this day. Be peaceful. This year, we have been privileged to have Mr. James Taylor join our GNS community to work with our students as an Indigenous educator. He is wonderfully engaging and has a gentle spirit as he shares stories, perspective, and Indigenous knowledge in a meaningful way so that we may all learn and grow toward a more inclusive and understanding world. I would like to invite James to come up to speak. We as First Nations people know when we come into a territory that's not ours, we acknowledge that territory and that land. And I'm very lucky enough to be able to do that in my own Anishinaabe language, my Ojibwe language. And when I do that with our children, I acknowledge our, our, our um, acknowledge the territory and then introduce myself. I translate for them so they can understand the words I'm starting to say. So I'm hoping that by the time they're in grade 12, they'll understand my language a little bit and understand my people. And if I translate for all you guys here, I'm going to go well over the two minutes I've been allowed to get. So um, but I am going to sing a, a welcoming song here for us. And um, I just want to thank you all for having such wonderful nieces and nephews over there. They've lifted me up on more than one occasion, and I'm very appreciative of that. So I'm appreciative to you. When I tell them that they're my nieces and nephews, it means that you're my brothers and my sisters. So my responsibility isn't just for them, but for you as well. The stuff that, I've, the stuff that they're learning here in school was never taught in school. When I was in school, it was still illegal. People could be arrested for what I'm doing here today. And I'm so grateful to be part of this beautiful family and doing this beautiful work with everyone. So I hope.
It has been a true gift to have you be such a wonderful part in our community this year. And students, raise your hand if you love having James visit your class. See, James, you're a fan favorite.
Good morning. The students, we can do better than that. Good morning. There we go. All right. You can, uh, you can teach the grade 11 and 12 to sing too. <laughs> we'll, we'll work on that. Well, it's, um, it's wonderful to be here. It's wonderful to be in person and to finally have our parents and our friends and all of our faculty be able to come together, which is something that Mr. Skinner was just mentioning that we cherish so much. And what a day to be able to honor uh, our students on this uh, incredible campus of the Beach Drive uh, with all of you. So anyone that, uh, that knows me, knows me well, knows that I would never pass an opportunity to stand in front of an audience uh, and say a few words of thanks. And as someone who's also the parent of two former Beach Drive students, I'm also keenly aware that myself and this ceremony stands between you and the summer. So I will do my very best to keep my remarks brief. But I do want to recognize the people that played such an important and significant role in making this year a massive success. As you know, because you've probably heard me say it many times, I am a strong believer in the notion that the difference between a good school and a great one lies in its community. And I also believe that when it comes to community, that this school is second to none. So I want us to take the time to recognize everyone who's contributed to that. And I want us to talk about the parents and the adults that spend time working with our children, helping ensure that the ideas that they learn here inside the classroom are understood and developed at home. The partnership between family and school at GNS is very unique to GNS. And it works because of moms and dads and grandparents and guardians who live the school's mission every day. And I want to take time to mention about our parents and all of the work that they do with our students, but also to the volunteers that keep the Beach Drive train running. So I come to the school almost every day, and I can see the grade reps, the volunteers in the lunch program, the youth uniform program, the appreciation days that run by our parents. This is the group that keeps us ticking, and there is no spotlight for them. So I'd like us to do a round of applause for the volunteers and all of their parents. <laughs> Next, I want to recognize this incredible Beach Drive faculty and staff. I am so privileged to be able to call this exceptional group of educators, colleagues, and also friends. As you can imagine, teaching and working in a school is not easy. And I can tell you as an educator myself, it requires tireless work ethic, an innovative perspective as we saw through COVID, a willingness to continually refine and adapt, and most important of all, a willingness to put the needs of others before your own. All of the staff at Beach Drive embody these attributes and so much more. And day after day, week after week, I am in awe of their selflessness, their collective intelligence, and their caring for our students, your children. They go above and beyond, I know you see that, and they do it with smiles on their faces, quiet determination, and for that, I'm forever indebted. This year, this exceptional group has been led by someone who arrived at GNS with some very large shoes to fill. I have been absolutely blown away by how well she's done it. We were so excited when Crystal Shea agreed to join the Beach Drive team, and in the last 12 months, she has stepped up and exceeded every expectation. And I want to thank Crystal for her leadership, and I want to thank the teachers and the staff for everything they do here at the beach to make this school so special. Please join me in a round of applause. For the entire team. And then on to the students. There they are. I look out on all your smiling faces and I cannot believe how much you've grown over the last 10 months. You know, just a total sidebar, but whenever, we, we always talk about, whenever you're having a bit of a rough day, just go to the beach. 
Walk around the beach, and it all becomes very clear. I know as students, sometimes it's not always easy that we as a school ask a lot of you. We want you to try new things. We want you to push outside your comfort zones. We want you to do your best each and every day with truth and courage. And each and every day, you do it. We are so proud of you for the ways that you have grown, and even prouder of how you supported each other along the way. So I want to make a special note now because we have a group, and we are the grade fives. There they are at the back. Congratulations, grade fives. This is where the grade five parents start to cry. I'm not gonna be too hard, don't worry. So there's this, this grade five group is spending their last day at the beach before making a very different trip next year as they will head to Cumberland Woods. And I, I remember this all too well because my son Andrew journeyed last year from grade five to grade six. And I'm sure that all the grade fives are excited for the move to PW, but we also know they might be a little nervous. And that's understandable. For many of these grade fives, this is the only school they've ever known. But I want to assure you, grade fives, that even though the location is changing, the school you'll be at next year is the same GNS. You'll still be taught by amazing teachers. You'll still take part in amazing programs. And most importantly, you'll be surrounded by amazing peers and classmates who know you. And I will look at this group of grade fives and I think, whatever next year has in hold for you, you are ready. And what's really important is that we'll be here with you every step of the way. It has been an extraordinary year in many ways, and it's been a return to GNS that many of us knew and loved before the pandemic. And some are getting to experiencing that for the first time now. But what I've realized is that nothing is really ever the same, is it? Because just like our students, our school continues to grow. Each year, we learn a little bit more about the education we offer and the way that we offer it. About young people and how we educate them and how we run our curriculum. We identify the things that work best and we strive to do better. And isn't that what life is all about? So as we enter this well-deserved summer, and hopefully the weather will stay like this, my challenge for all of us, staff, students, parents, is to spend a little bit of time this summer thinking about where we are, how we got here, and most importantly, where we are going. We should be very proud of everything we've accomplished this year. It wasn't easy. But we should also be yearning for more. Together, we have created an exceptional school, and I know that we are just getting started. I'm excited to see what will happen as we write the next chapter of GNS together. Thank you. I'm really thankful that you're here today and I didn't have to read that for you. <laughs> when you ask people to describe the beach campus in one word, they will say, magic. The magic of the beach can be felt from the moment you walk the campus or come into a building. Magic is energy. It is a feeling that comes from the people who are here. It is a feeling of positivity and joy. And each and every one of you contribute to that magic. I would like to echo Mr. Holton's sentiments of gratitude. This year, our theme was waves of kindness. And as someone new to the GNS community, I can attest to the waves of kindness I have experienced here. In fact, I've got a few that I'd like to share. Miss <laughs> Crosley's coming up again. Really? But we 
We have the date right. Today is the last day. Thanks, Ms. Crossley. All right. And look, the kindergarten students, the JKs, they decorated it for me. <laughs> now, I'm going to start with the students. Students, it is a pleasure to work with you each and every day and be a part of your lives as you strive to be the best students and people you can be. You regularly exhibit the IB attributes of being caring and open-minded, risk-taking, persevering, communicating, and inquiring. Thank you for welcoming me to GNS and making me smile. I feel so proud to be your principal, and thank you for making the beach such a special place to be. Parents, I'd like to thank you as well for your gifts of time and talent by volunteering here at the school for various things, for your financial gifts to our annual fund. Your participation in all of these things truly create a sense of community here at GNS. And I want to thank you for your greatest gift, which is the opportunity to work with your children, our students. Thank you. To our fantastic faculty. Woo! What a year! I know it's in there again, but come on, the sun's it. Um, as Chad noted, you are absolutely the most talented and caring group of educators. You go above and beyond always putting the students first and to ensure that the GNS experience is the best experience. And on a personal note, I have appreciated your humor and your warmth as I have adjusted to life at a new school and to life on an under. Thank you. And to Mr. Bowers and Ms. Gioni, some days I don't know if you're my right hand, my left hand, I just know that together I am so thankful for you, so thank you. <laughs> to our amazing staff, regardless of the department, you can be counted on to work tirelessly, tirelessly behind the scenes to keep everything running smoothly with precision and care. I know that Miss Cora in particular has helped many of us in this audience, myself included, um, to ease our anxiety with a quick question via email or phone call, and I know she's definitely saved me a time or two this year, but who's counting? Right, Cora? Thank you. <laughs> and to members of our senior leadership team, led by the very amazing Mr. Chad Holton, who inspires us to dream big or go home. I think it's actually in my contract. We are inspired to work together as a team with a commitment to excellence and kindness to make those dreams become a reality. And there is no doubt that the future of GNS is a bright one. Thanks to everyone here for such an amazing year. I'd now like to invite Mr. Cole Carlson, um, Deputy Head Academic of the school, to come up with some exciting news to share. Good morning, everyone. This is a great crowd. Uh, truly, we have built something special here, and yeah, the campus is wonderful, but the community is, is something else. So I'm thrilled to be able to share some great news about our community. This, this morning, I, I mentioned at the assembly that it was hot off the press, and it really is. Um, just new news. Uh, probably no longer hot, but it is cool for sure. So we spoke at the assembly and I had a chance to call up some special people from our school community to be recognized. Uh, but I know that they have some little ones in their care at the moment, so perhaps at this point they'll just stand and wave uh, while 
I share this news again with the greater community that's here now. So could I please ask that Mira Bandetta, Joanne Dunn, Alicia Bird, Isabel Tang, Sarah Wallace, Rhonda Stark, and James Taylor, please stand and give everybody a wave. So this message is from the Dr. Eric Jackman Institute of Child Study Laboratory School, which is at the Ontario Institute for Studies in Education. And they wrote, please accept our sincere congratulations for having been chosen as runner-ups for a prestigious national award. The National and Natural Curiosities Edward Bertinsky Award for Teaching Excellence in Environmental Education. The selection committee noted that it was a particularly strong field in the competition this year. They put very careful thought into deciding the recipients of this award. Our GNS nomination of this team of educators showcased our programs and programs such as Nature School and our grade five program and how they have served as a springboard for lessons focused on environmental teaching and learning across our entire junior school program and through all of the educators and students here. It's rare for this award to go to a team, but what a great one we do have here. And they were selected from a particularly impressive batch of applica applicants from a number of school boards and early learning centers all across the country. They will be honored with a winning story on the website at the Institute of Child Study and certainly in their social media feed and their newsletters. Uh, as prizes, they will also be getting some signed books from Mr. Bertinsky's photographic works on, on the natural environment and some professional development funds to go towards environmental education related PD opportunities. Please join me in sharing our congratulations once again, and thank you team for your unwavering commitment to the environment and for integrating the importance and interconnectedness of all life on Earth into your teaching. We're so grateful for having the opportunity to have you with us in the school, and we're happy to celebrate your successes. Thank you again. I'm not going to sing a rendition of Closing Time, but every new beginning is often the result of another ending. And this is a time of year when we must often say goodbye to staff who are leaving GNS to embark on new adventures. We would like to thank Mr. Greg Cargill for his role as a technology teacher this year, where he worked with all our students to learn the wonders of coding, solved many a tech issue, and supported many special events like sleepovers and hikes. We would like to wish him the very best as he just moves across to the Pemberton Woods campus in September. Thank you. We would also like to thank Ms. Ashley Johnston and Ms. Meg Hollingsworth for supporting our students as educational assistants, camp leaders, and in the after-school care program. Whether working with one student or a group, they were always there to help us and have fun. Thank you to those people. But today, we also need to say farewell to some longer standing members of our faculty. We would like to thank Ms. Wendy Davies for bringing her cheerful disposition to working with some of our youngest learners, and in particular, the junior kindergarten class this year. Ms. Wendy can always be counted upon to lend a helping hand and to say a kind word. Thank you, Ms. Wendy. We would like to thank Ms. Rebecca Steele for her commitment and contributions to GNS first as a student and then as an educator for the past 12 years in both the classroom as a teacher and in learning strategies as a literacy specialist. Ms. Steele's love for literacy is contagious and it was always evident as she helped our students strive to feel more confident in their reading and writing skills and as learners. Thank you, Ms. Steele. We would also like to thank Ms. Joanne Dunn for sharing her many gifts with GNS 
and in particular, junior kindergarten for the past 16 years. An avid steward of the earth, Miss Joanne shared her expertise and love for the outdoors, resulting in the creation of our outstanding nature school program. Miss Joanne clearly loved every moment with her students and helping them to do their very best to become caring, confident little learners in a big world. Thank you, Miss Joanne. The role of music is a special one at GNS, and while it seems like only yesterday, she joined us, and for the past 23 years, Miss Inga Illman has truly been the maestra bringing the music program alive in our community, whether it was with choir or musical theater or our weekly assemblies. I think you will all agree with me that the production of Neverland was simply amazing. <laughs> Teaching students in first steps to grade five, we would like to thank Ms. Illman for helping us to come together <laughs> and see that we all have the music, music within us to share with the world. Thank you, Ms. Elman. And finally, we would also like to acknowledge and thank Mrs. Judy Newman, who is retiring after an esteemed 24 years in education. While Mrs. Newman has called the grade two classroom home for the majority of that time, she has helped all of our students see the beautiful power of possibility and the magic of yet through her daily interactions and coaching of co-curriculars. Our students know that anything is possible with an open mind and an open heart, combined with a healthy dose of perseverance. As I saw her snuggling her grandson yesterday, little Julius, I saw a sparkle in her eye. And there is no doubt that she is going to love retirement. Thank you, Mrs. Newman. While some of these team members are starting new chapters of careers and others are taking time to enjoy life more fully, no matter where the roads take them, we are forever grateful that GNS has been a part of their journey and they have found a place in our hearts. Thank you to them all. Now on to the moment you've all been waiting for, the certificates and highlights from each grade. Students, when you are presented with your envelopes, please do not open them until you give them to your parents. I would like to ask the inaugural first step class to please assemble at the side of the stage and for Ms. Deb Esposito to please join us to present their certificate. with many activities to choose. The beach in our classroom were first steps to start. Soon new adventures took us to music and art. Each day of the week meant inquiry and fun with so many friends and connections to come. Nature school brought us gifts of mud, sand, and rocks. We climbed, explored, and enjoyed quiet talks. Sometimes we had challenges, sometimes we had tears. We learned perseverance and shared hug with, hugs with our peers. Spring brought us butterflies to learn from and care, a nurturing habitat to help them prepare. And just like that, our first steps year has passed by, and now your little ones are ready to fly. So it's happy tears that we shed as we bid you goodbye, because life at the beach means coming back to say hi. As we read each student's names today, as well as those who are absent, 
we ask that you please hold your applause until the end of each grouping. Benjamin Anderson, Aria Etty, Henry Clark, Gail Gustafson, Penelope Kip, Owen McCall, Callum McLean, Remy Mullen, Benedict Murphy, Rory Nanos, Augusta Petting, Ethan Scott, Gia Steinberg, Greer Wells, and Elon Wright. I still remember getting the call that we were going to do a First Steps program. <laughs> and to quote Chad, I can you for a second. Who opens a First Steps program in the middle of a pandemic? We do. Did you have fun First Steps? Are you glad that we did it? Yes. Ethan says yes. I would now like to invite the junior kindergarten classes to please assemble along the side of our stage and for Ms. Mira and Ms. Joanne to come up as well to present certificates for their students. Despite the golden rule, 
Whatever you do, no fun at school. So dear ki junior kindergartners, this you should know. Wherever you are, wherever you go, you've got teachers who believe in you and wish that all your dreams flow. Harper Callahan. Lila Campbell. Olivia Chung. Zoe Cosalina, Asher Hamilton, Hudson Lay, Ruby Lee. I'm reading everyone even if they're not here, okay kids? Um, Evan McLean, Jack Oliver, Max Palmer, Kyrie Perini, Tio Swordo, Arthur Serpa. Rumi Thomas Belgi, Jasper Wood, and Osman Yang. Miss Mira's class. Amelia Ikbo, Nathan Luck, Ellie Plett, Mikhail Kunja, Everett Ryder, oh, girl. Oh, I kind of like All of them. <laughs> I feel like Lucille Ball, you know, with the chocolates are coming at me. <laughs> Olivia Everett Ryder, Olive Stanley, Olivia Cho, Ben Wilkinson, and Jace Yen. Congratulations. Thank you to Miss Mira, Miss Joanne, Miss Wendy, Miss Joanna, and the JK students. team of 35 with all the changes this year who would have imagined that we would all thrive from ABCs and 123s to home reading books and stick counting with ease countless nature school outings all around Oak Bay how often we wish the sun would come out and stay every Friday a room filled with dancing feet each kindergartner discovering their very own beat Jimmy Chicken Island, Dyro Park, Mystic Vale, and Mount Doug too. So many adventures and outings with this awesome crew. 
A fantastic group of friends sharing laughter and fun. You've shown care for one another in all that you've done. KB and KT and to all the rest, truth and courage will always help you to do your best. I'll ask you first to come up. Nicholas Butler, Madeline Cassie, Sasha Gafford, Hugo Hartman, Evelina Hartshorn, Hudson Huberdyke, Niklas Kaysammer, Zephora Lalonde, Monty McDonald, Imogen Murphy, Brandon Parks, Audrey Simpson, James Sparling, Olive Ubita Bossman, Victoria Worthington, Adrian Zhang, and Chelsea Xu. Miss Bird's class. <laughs> Robbie Anderson. Carson Benna. Eva Boniface, Lucia Chen, Vivian Gao, Ryan Gustafson, Ko Heal, Tyson Lawson, Torin McCray Miller, Emerson Mattingly, Charlie Mullen, Hemingway Patterson, Charlie Texan, Arbor Shea, Sawyer Steele, Maggie Swatland, Cooper Ward, and Emily Yee, Miss Tang's class. Thank you to Mrs. Bird, Ms. Tang, Ms. D, Mrs. Rogers, and the kindergarten students. Well done. <laughs> good stages are meant for jumping and dancing and all sorts of good things. They're all like jumping inside too. They're so excited. Would Miss Phil Drake, Phil Gate, and Miss Graham please come up to present Grade One certificates to their respective classes? known as GNS, located by the shores of the Pacific Ocean, lived two mama bears and their 35 grade one cubs. The mama bears, Miss Billgate and Mrs. Graham, and sometimes with Mrs. Johnson and Miss Renata too, knew their little cubs were magical, but they never knew that in just one school year, these cubs would learn to read and write, add and subtract, 
transform into young inquirers, and become mindful and accepting of what makes their fellow cubs unique. These little cubs learned how to ask meaningful questions and make connections as they mapped out their local community and learned about the role service providers, such as the park ranger, plays in our lives. Showing their creativity, these little cubs transformed the cereal box into a glowing light box and worked collaboratively to design and create a habitat for a local animal made of natural and recycled materials. Third term unveiled a hidden talent of hiking as these risk-taking cubs tested out local mountains to hike and trails to explore, all with determination and perseverance. In their final inquiry of how to express themselves, the little cubs showcased their talents as actors and communicators through weird theater and carefully curated performance of the fractured fairy tale. And now these little cubs are ready to embark on new adventures with new mama bears that are awaiting them in grade two. Would Miss Delphi come up for her part? Violet Armstrong. James Bannister. Hallie Brooks. Grayson Parkner. Bryce Kolebaba. Max D'Angelo, Noah Swagger, Russell Finley, Jacob Hurtle, Jonathan Howard, Freddie Isted, Charlotte McCumber, Wilder Malcolm, Charlie Ronkai, Lauren Sluggett, Sloan Wells, and Amy Ju. Miss Bill Gates. Lillian Allard, Lachlan Brown, Jasper Byrne, Will Dimitriov, Balthasar Ertz, Aiden Fan, Isla Fraser, Catherine Hahn, Reef Keel, Lenny Look, Grady McCall, Tartan Hearn, Kate Kegler, Alexandra Scott, Areeb Sharif, Aria Single, Charlotte Smith. And Braden Wright. Congratulations, Miss <laughs> Thank you, Miss Billgate, Mrs. Graham, Mrs. Johnson, and Grade One students. Well done. Our grade two year was filled with waves of kindness at work and play. We learned that communities are shaped by the diversity of their people. We identified communities that welcome those differences, 
like GNS, and recognize how fortunate we are to live in Canada, which is a diversity-friendly place. We know that people aren't weird. Everyone is just wonderfully different. Be kind to everyone. We learned that Canada is made up of awesomely beautiful geographic regions that inspire creativity in us, even the sticks and stones. From sea to shining sea, this land is your land. This land is my land. Be kind to the land. We learned that in Canada, most people have money to meet their needs and fill a lot of their wants too. But this isn't true everywhere on earth. With the profits from our barter and trade day, we sent money to 10 charities to help people meet their basic needs. Be kind with your money and time. We learned that we live in a water-rich country, but water is not everywhere. After we survived Water Day, we learned we need to protect and conserve our precious water so that it will last another five billion years. Be kind to the water. We learned about Canada's insects, birds, bees, and salmon, and that each and every animal keeps the Jenga tower of nature strong and balanced. James Taylor taught us much about never taking more than we need. Be kind to the animals. We sent our little salmon free into Belfort Creek for the first time. It took over 100 years. Waikanushpum, we are all salmon people. Be kind to Belfer Creek at the beach. Did you know there's a song and a dance for absolutely everything you learn at school? It's true. We laugh a lot and were knighted by Queen Catherine and Princess Judy for our home reading successes. We wrote tons of poetry, stretched out small moments, shared our talents, and worked together on deep thinking math problems. Be kind to your teammates. In grade two, we know how the tide takes a loving act and brings it back again. To the First Nations on whose traditional territories we live, learn, work, and play, we say, Hush. Miss Newman is going to come up and present her certificate. Arnaz Dillon, Avery Elliott. Alexa Hartshorn, Fiona Quang, Evan Lee, Ophira Mills, Ryan Oliver, Lucy Robinson, Lena Sun, Ellie Sun, Jack Swatland, Anaya Thomas Belgi, Finley Warder, Alexander Wilkinson, Aiden Windsor, Daryl Yen, and Mira Zhang. Mrs. Newman's grade two class. <laughs> Mrs. Wild will present to her students, Sonali Arneja, Christopher Butler, Grace Byrne, Lillian Chen, Minnie Chen, Piper Coughlin, Georgia DeJong, Bo Zwagger, Philip Hahn, Sanaya Pushvara, Isaiah Larson, Maya Marston, Milo Moss, Kate Nielsen, Alexander Opolsky, Charlie Pullen, and Jeremy Zhang. Miss Wilde's class.
Thank you, Mrs. Newman, Mrs. Wild, and grade two students. Well done. busy and exciting year in grade three. To celebrate our achievements, we've put together a list of our top 10 events of the year in no particular order. We were inspired by walking 10 laps around the courtyard of Carlton House with 101-year-old veteran, Mr. Hillman, who was raising money for the children and families of the Ukraine. We wrote scripts with famous play titles like Romeo and Juliet and The Hunger Game for Kid Theater. The grade 11 and 12 IB theater students acted them out for us in Denver Hall, and they were hilarious. The Gaga Bat Pit was lots of fun. We loved playing at recess and looked forward to more games next year. Our cultures make us unique. We loved creating our culture boxes, and we were proud to show them off to other students and teachers. We learned how to use GPSs to do geocaching. We geocached around GNS, at Firefighters Park, around Beaver Lake, and even in the amazing race around Oak Bay. James Taylor came to visit throughout the year. We loved learning about his culture, seeing his special items in his bundle, and especially singing the Scooby-Doo song while he drummed. The trip to Jimmy Chicken was awesome. Paddling over in the canoes was so peaceful. We loved exploring the island while doing the scavenger hunt and picnicking and playing at the beach. Our innovation unit had us creating futuristic, sustainable inventions, and we all wish we could make them come to life immediately. Some of us joined musical theater and were in Neverland. It was amazing to be part of such a fantastic production. The highlight of the year was the Great Three Adventure Day. We had a blast climbing the rope courses at Wild Play and so much fun at the sleepover in the gym. What a year it's been. We worked hard, played hard, and made lots of new friends, and we always did our best truth and courage. Mrs. Oh, sorry. Okay, you can see. There's one more little paragraph here. If Mrs. McCall and Mrs. Salawana have had as much fun as we did, we know they'll have an absolutely fabulous time this year, next year. This year. To proudly going to present the great speech in her class, Julie Bateman. Lucas Spy. Jake Flattentoff, Maximus Karpner, Connor Kolebaba, Elizabeth Davis, Nancy Dong, Zamira Gill, Charlotte Hartney, William Howard, Ivor James, Olivia King, Sapphire Pan, Charlie Parks, Oliver Plett, Cora Simpson, Lewin Sun, Wyatt Casco, Isla Wall, and Bella Ju. Mrs. Crosley's class. Shifley, Shigley, Ruby Crow, Kristen Daniel Park, Kieran Davis, Alice Dimitrioff, Christopher Dunn, Harita Anya Onyema, Annika Phillips. Sebastian Fraser, Juliet Hayes, 
Bentley Huberwright, Jake McDonough, Myron Mack, Brinley Marino, Kate Sanga, Victor Serpa, Charlotte Steele, Faye Traylon, Noah Yudita Bossman, Cole Wall, and Ella Zhu, Mrs. Pong's class. Thank you, Mrs. Crosley, Mrs. Pong, and grade three students. Well done. Book Prize to grade four. What a memorable year it has been. The grade fours had so much fun activities mixed with wonderful learning experiences. The Among Us, the Among Us evening was a blast. The grade fours loved calling meetings and putting their detective skills to the test and identified the imposters. The marimba concert during a Friday morning live was one of the first times guests were invited back to assemblies, and you blew the audience away with your incredible music skills. We may have even noticed a few tears of joy shed from the audience. Our hike to Gowell and Todd was a wonderful display of your perseverance and drive to complete a challenge. Surf to Turf Day followed by the sleepover and the motion-centered lights made for an unplanned disco late night light show. The list goes on and on from learning to work collaboratively during the break the code activity, the scavenger hunt to feel what it's like to be an explorer, creating paper airplanes to test the hypothesis, and even trying to create a light bulb. If you spent a lot of time in the innovation lab, using your creative minds and your love of using your hands to show your thinking and create many spectacular projects. The kindness chain that you made before the winter break inspired others to take action and acknowledge all of the wonderful kind acts that are happening at the beach every day. The chain ended up as a year-long reminder of the ways of kindness you spread at the beach. Parents, there were so many highlights this year, and we owe it all to your wonderful children who helped to create these memories which will last a lifetime. We wish them all the very best in grade five. Now, the question is, Mrs. Stark and Mrs. Wallace, are you ready for the next leaders of our school? Mrs. McCall will come up to do her class. Jada Federina. Casey Chan. Shay Curran. Lou Heal, Miranda Hodgson, Ishmael Crum, Emma Kim, James Larson, Daniel Levrenyak, Lorelai McCumber, Jekka Menzies, Rose Moss, Grace Hayat, Henry Peets, Alora Putlin, Tejas Sabish, Addison Scott, Jake Spitz, Oliver Story, Clay Swatland, Lulu White, 
and Wyatt Williams. Congratulations to Mrs. McCall's class. Tori Algar, Sean Aneja, Laird Jornsson, Gia Davy, Dylan DeMeo, Nathan Gao, L. Harrison, Silas Lee, Ryder Martell, Sophie Nielsen, Annika Pathak, Tyler Sacklis, Juliet, Juliet Scott, Everly Schultz, Shire Single, Leo Tiampo, Gabriella Ward, Elliot Warder, Brooklyn Wright, Sophia Yang, and Amy Zhang. I would like to, oh, actually, I'm going to do that after I do this question. How about we do this? Everywhere you go, always take the weather with you. For those of you in the audience old enough to remember Crowded House, you'll recognize the lyric. For those of you who aren't, you get the sentiment. These great fives brought their weather with them through the school year. When faced with cha changing restrictions, such as wearing masks, changing the spacing in the classroom, and changing the way we work together, your children were flexible and considerate. Their resilience and spirit in the face of, of the continuing challenge of COVID were commendable. They learned to be kinder and more compassionate through all of the changing and sometimes confusing protocols. Being able to swim, skate, have visiting speakers, take part in track and field events and concerts again, these much missed opportunities brought relief not only to the students, but to all of us in the community. It was wonderful to welcome parent experts back for inquiries. You helped contextualize our learning. We learned a great deal from our online experience that there is not one of us who would choose remote over face-to-face -face learning. We learned very quickly that these grade fives were up for a challenge. Early on in the session, we discovered that your children were not only really capable, but willing to collaborate in their learning to a degree that we hadn't seen before. Consciously, they designed their physical learning space and extended their creativity into redesigning their inquiry journals, part of their legacy. We knew then that we were in for an extraordinary year. Through their inquiry, your children developed a deeper understanding of the design cycle and its application. 
Who could forget the body presentations? A plethora of paper bags, wool, Cheerios, and an extraordinary amount of jello to show how our insides work. Your children were eager to take on the challenge of the exhibition this spring. From developing computer games to designing gardens and desks to the science experiments and upcycling, your children incorporated the design cycle into all aspects of their journey. They asked thoughtful questions, imagined their creation, planned using diagrams, measurements, supplies, and patterns created by developing skills such as sewing, hammering, coding, and mountains of hot wooing, and improved by reflecting daily in their journal. Grade fives, we have seen you grow academically, emotionally, and physically this year. There will come a day that you come back to the beach and you will see it with fresh eyes. Many of you will realize what an extraordinary place you inhabited for your primary years. We want you to know that you inhabit an equally special place within your teachers. We wear, wear many hats. One of them is to help you understand what is good and right and how to move forward. When we watch you graduate in grade 12, we will do so knowing that we have a small part in guiding you. That is both our gift to you and your gift to us. Knowing your teachers as you do grade fives, you'll be expecting a bookend. So here it is. Together, we survived an atmospheric river. They did, literally. We not only survived it, but thrived through it. On our bike trip, you showed true resilience, overcame challenges, and went with the flow as plans changed on the dime. As you go forward to middle school, know how strong you can be together. Thank you from all of us for an incredible year, and please continue to take your weather with you wherever you go. Let's give them a round. Well, I've had this on the brown piece of paper. Um, I would like to invite out Mrs. Stark to do her class, as well as Mr. Fulton to present the Anne Michael Allen Grade 5 Book Award, and Mr. Russ Marston, principal of the middle school, as they will all be joining us on stage to congratulate them and welcome them to middle school. Sydney Bateman, Braylon Brooks, Sophie Carroll, Lennon Coughlin, Oliver Crow, Maddie Dean, Jackson Ewart, Aaron Gage. Joda Gill, Xavier Hakalak Kane, Roman Humber, Tyler Kanzi, Jojo Lang, Leo Lawson, Helen McCall, Ainsley Paget. Kate Harrisay Sterling, Neela Plett, Ali Sanga, Michelle Sodmanhill, Liam Wilkinson, and Ethan Zhang. Congratulations to Mrs. Stark's class. Isabella Berry, Henry Drolia, Sebastian Devoki, Thomas Dong, Carlson Ertz, Finn Humber, 
Camila Conde, Daniel Lee, Louis Lloyd Kruger, Kate McLaren, Rivka Mills, Niki Nafisi, Nora Phillips, Amy Robinson, Graham Shanks, James Shaw, Alex Shaw Lewis, Cameron Sluggett, Lucy Sutton, Olive Winters, Noah Zhang, and Flora Zhao. Mrs. Wallace's class. Thank you, Mr. Holson, Mr. Marston, Mrs. Mar Stark, Mrs. Wallace, and grade five students. You did it, congratulations. <laughs> After a very exciting sports afternoon organized by Mr. Bowers, our students are excited to learn the results of the coveted House Cup. I would like to ask Mr. Cole Carlson, Deputy Head of Academics, to please come up and explain this award. Each year, our students participate in various ways to help earn points for their respective house teams. They've enjoyed wearing their house colors on special days and supporting community initiatives such as bringing in non-perishable food items. They have even had fun spinning the wheel in assembly and answering questions to garner points. And today, we finally get to hear the final results. Uh, students. Could we get another drum roll? Maybe James can help out with that too. In fourth place is Walsingham Thompson with 3,799 points. In third place is Kaser McKenzie House with 4,818.
thank you, Mr. Carlson, Mr. Munstock, Cove, and Xavier. Students, without you, we would not be here. You are the heart and soul of GNS. And as much as we strive to empower you to do your best through perfect truth and courage, you inspire us to do the same. You have changed so much since September. You've grown taller, you've grown stronger and wiser. And inspired by the nature that surrounds us here today, you remind me of the trees in a beautiful forest, each unique in your own ways, and yet part of something larger. You've worked so hard this year, and we have made so many wonderful memories together. Grade five, it's hard to believe that you are the future class of 2029. I hope that you always work hard to be prepared for any opportunities that present themselves to you, so that the core values of truth, courage, individuality, caring, and community remain at the forefront. Grade five, you are poised for great success. And wherever you might go in this world, I know that you will take a piece of GNS with you. Would everyone please stand for the singing of the school song? Thank you. 
of the known, falling behind, but chasing and receiving all those beautiful blessings that are coming on the path that we're on together. So as we go off in the summer, um, this is just a blessing for myself, for all of you. Again, to thank you and to honor those students that are doing all that big work that's um, going on to their next... Uh,